But yes, we are going into a period where the world we've known is, is going to collapse and we are going to have to deal with it. Um, so the new can take its place. Do you have any vision about it or you think it's unvisionable? It's not possible to, to imagine? Oh, I think, I think there'll be a, a lot of... I mean, do you think uh, we're going to sit and play the drums every night and ride on horses? Or, or do you think we are, uh, for example, using uh, technology for like the most brilliant purposes? Or, well, or, that, that's the point, you see. Um, when we start to come out the other side, when the control system has ceased to suppress even the uh, technology that it knows exists and suppresses, uh, that, that gives us free energy. Yeah, Tesla. Yeah, all that stuff. Free energy from the, you know, accessing the natural vibrational fields we live in. Uh, there's no need to pay for electricity. There's no need to, 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 to rate the earth for resources. It, 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 see, Einstein, um, has said once, uh, words to the effect of, you cannot solve problems with the same level of consciousness that created them. Now, because of the suppression of consciousness, um, we've lived in a mind-dominated society, and thus the same level of consciousness has been trying to deal with problems created by the same level of consciousness. All you're going to go is go round and round and round, as we have been. As we enter this new epoch of, of greater expanded awareness, then what perceive we perceive now as impossible problems that are unsolvable, they won't be unsolvable at all. They'll be very straightforward once you realize how it works. Um, for instance, mind tries to change things in the realm of mind, which is the holographic play out reality we think is physical. Once you realize that actually this is just a projection of this information field, vibrational information field, and you go to the vibrational information field and you change that, then anything it projects um, changes. So, oh no, there's all these uh, vibrational, uh, these um, environmental problems and all that stuff. Well, they're just a projection of a distortion of the energy construct. You, you, uh, 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 harmonize and balance that distortion, that play out holographic level environmental impossible to solve problem suddenly gone away. So this is the, this, this is the, uh, the level that we're going into. Uh, I mean, when I uh, watched the Avatar movie um, where the blue people were living um, in total harmony with the, 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 the plant world, uh, the, 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 the trees, the, the animals, and um, no one was hungry because there was always, there was abundance because uh, the uh, systems that create abundance were being supported and loved and not destroyed. Um, and then the, the American military came in with their left brain technology and did not understand the, the world of the blue people and all this connectors. They're talking to plants, dear man, all this stuff, right? What you're looking at is the difference between the world we're going into. Indeed, the world this once was in, in these ancient times where they called, the, they called the golden age, well beyond what we call history. Um, but this is where we're going again. Um, and, and what we're seeing uh, now is that left brain, stupid, insensitive, desperately limited level of perception, symbolized by the American military coming into that Pandora moon in the Avatar movie. That's the mentality that has run the control system all this time. And to keep humanity en masse under control, we've had to be put in a lower level of awareness and intellectual uh, potential than the control system, which is itself in a desperately low level of awareness compared with consciousness. We have this saying in, um, in England about, um, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. Well, the control system is the one-eyed man 
and to control humanity, they've had to make us blind. Um, and so as we awaken, we awaken beyond the capability of the control system to, uh, uh, in terms of perception and potential. And so we're going into a, a, a new reality as this comes down, where amazing things become possible. And what, what we, we would call today miracles become commonplace because they're not miracles at all. They're just an awareness of how reality works, you know, and therefore you use it. Oh, it's a miracle. No, it's not. You thought reality worked like this. So that was impossible, a miracle. No, it actually works like this. So it's not a miracle. It's just understanding how reality works. And, and, and so we are going into this incredible uh, period that we would call utopia. Mm. The thing is... We're going also before that, although this is ongoing, in, and we're already in it, in a very, very challenging period, which we've chosen to experience, which is the cusp of where one replaces the other. And, and we are in the period where the other, the control system, is now desperately throwing everything it can at us to keep us under control and suppress this awakening. It, it, it's, 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 it's making people fear economically, fear about the wars, fear terrorism. It's filling the, the food and drink with, with chemicals and we've got electrical and radiation pollution all, all there on purpose to try to destabilize the uh, uh, receiving transmission system and, and keep us in a narrow band of awareness. Um, and so, and then as that moves through and, and all the stuff they throw at us and throw at us and throw at us eventually just you know, doesn't work, the systems comes down. They can't hold it together anymore, and its foundation, its uh, uh, vibrational foundation is gone. Uh, and, and, and so we're going to have to deal with all this, um, you know, in the next 10 years. And we're dealing with it now, we're already in it, it's just a matter of how, how, how far we go into it. How painful it is, how traumatic it is, um, the scale of upheavals very much depends on how we react to it. I mean, how we deal with it. Uh, you know, the more people that wake up to consciousness, the easier it will be. Um, and we're, we are at a point now where I've been saying for years, you know, that um, those that woke up before now and started to see it, they realize that they are infinite consciousness having an experience. Mm -hmm. They're not the experience only. Um, are the lucky ones because you know they have some greater perspective of what's happening if you are in this world and of it in other words you you you, you I self identify with your I'm just my name my job my background my whatever um, and the only thing you perceive is this reality and the only point of information you get is from this reality and these are going to be very, very challenging times for people in that, in that um, state because they're going to think the world is falling apart. And on one extent it will, level it will be, but they're not going to realize that it is an essential um, step on the road to um, a fantastic world compared with what we have now. Um, they're just going to think, the world's falling apart and that's it. You know, Armageddon's come. We're going to hear a lot of that. It's Armageddon. No, it's not. It's not Armageddon. It's the end of the old epoch and the start of the new one. Yeah.